In this video, we need to establish the correct spacing of the grid as it pertains to the correct size of the building in the photograph. So zoom in a little closer and you'll notice a grid line here, there's one here, and there's one here. So in order to do this correctly, we're going to set the spacing to something that we know is the correct height in the photo. So I'm going to take this standard size door here, which is 6 feet 8 inches tall. So I'm just going to type in 6 feet 8 inches, enter. And that changes the grid spacing between the lines to 6 feet 8 inches. So what we need to do is to come over here to the blue axis line and when you see the double arrows hold down your left button and move the first grid line okay so you see where the first grid line is is right here and move it up to the height of the door so you might want to get a little closer and that little dark arrow double arrow goes up about right there okay so that's the height of the door and now she looks a little bit more proportional to the building okay so when we do that and when we build the model it will come out the right size once you've completed the spacing and the vanishing points you're pretty much done with the lines here and you come over here and just pick done so they disappear and you notice that it gives you a little Boston Market tab up here so I'm just going to orbit a little bit and it disappears on me so anytime you want to bring it back all you have to do is pick on your tab and there it goes now before we forget we want to delete her by selecting and just hitting the delete button otherwise she'll kind of ghost onto the image of our surfaces and we don't want that the next step is to start making some surfaces and I would suggest starting with the line command and pick on the origin point and draw a line out to the corner here of the building if you need to zoom in and for our purposes here I'm just going to roughly pick this area right in here which is about here okay we can always adjust this so I'm kind of right on the edge of that and don't worry if it overlaps a little bit or doesn't quite reach the edge we can adjust all of this so I'm going to bring it up to here approximately and then back here and you can see that and I'm going to be coming back down here now you will see a little film there but that film is actually a surface if you orbit there it is okay but we need to go back to here and we can do a little bit of adjusting you see I'm a, I'm a little bit off up here so I'm just going to move that line up a little bit in the blue right there okay so again don't worry about that little piece there you can always check it like that now you can do a couple different things here you can make this surface and then you can keep on drawing you need to establish something from the point of origin first and then work off of that if you just start drawing something out here it's not going to work you have to start at that point one of the things you can do is to push pull this if you know that this line up here and this line back here are the same you can just go into the push pull pick on that and push it all the way back to that 
right there. Once you have made the larger part of the building, these two large walls here, you can concentrate on the smaller part over here. Again, go to the line command. Start at the origin here. And along the green axis, you can zoom in and find the inside corner here roughly. And it's going to be about right there. So I'm going to pick that and another line going straight up from here. Should lock on there. And back to here. Nope. Come on. There. So there's the corner. There's this surface, this surface. You can always orbit again just to kind of check, right? So now go back to your tab. Now we got to come out from here. So again, we're going to pick there and you can zoom in just to kind of see what you're doing a little bit better. Pick there, back down to here and where it tracks to back here, that's where you pick. And then back to here. Make sure you stay along all the green and the red axis points. Now this was a little line that's going actually through the building back here. Okay, don't be fooled about this here. We're going to start back up here again and go back down here. And again, roughly I'm just picking here. Okay, if you want to orbit, track it to there. It should Okay, now we could fill this back in here, but we're never looking back this way. We don't have the photo to project onto that part. So our view is really only from the front in a certain angle here. So we don't have, we don't have to be worried about that right now. You can always fill it in later. So once you establish the larger parts, kind of the medium part of the building, then you can kind of go in here and because of time I'm not going to do this but you can add a few little details here and push pull those out you can always do it later so once you've done this then you come over here and pick project textures from photo you'll get a little message like this and you want to say yes okay now just to check it just orbit again and you can see that those photos from the original image that we brought in are now textures on the surfaces that we created.